I'm good. I'm chilling. You guys ready? Yeah. Uh, hey, <laughs> insane. But welcome back to Tulsa Light Podcast, most authentic, most organic podcast out here, baby. <laughs> Today we got some special guests, some funny content creators, twins to top it off. We have Maria and Laura the Estrada twins on here, baby. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> Hey, what a change. <laughs> it goes from being a little bit, like, mellow to, like, once the camera goes on, it's it. Yeah. We go into a different persona. <laughs> How does that work? So we're going we're gonna to get right into right it. Right into it. Yeah, right into oh, yeah. it. Okay, pues tú empezaste, güey. No, pues ya no sé qué decir, güey. Ahora le te toca. All right, first of all, who's the oldest one? All right, guess. You guys want to guess? You guys want to take a wild guess? You're the oldest one. <laughs> By how long? By nine minutes. Not nine. long. Our parents, our, yeah, our parents didn't know they were having twins till the day of. Um, yeah, like they the thought it of. was one baby. They thought it was just her. Yeah. Apparently, like, I was hiding behind her, like, on, on the womb. So, like, they never saw me. What kind of doctor did you get? Did your parents go <laughs> to? <laughs> Dude, they went to the worst doctor and stuff because we have an older brother. Yeah. They thought he was a girl for the longest time. That was me, too. <laughs> my, uh, they, they told my parents I was a girl in the womb. <laughs> We believe that. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> Yo, he, like, he, he, he does shave his legs, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn, you got burned. It's cool. It's That's cool. it. Oh, my. Damn, so they didn't know until the then, day, yeah, the day the of. Day of. Yeah, and the day then of. they told us that for the baby shower, they les regalaron dos sillas for the car. And then they returned one. And then they went back to the store. They're like, actually, can we get that one back? <laughs> yeah, they didn't know. <laughs> yeah. But for the people that don't know, where did you guys grow up? We grew up um, like Chino Hills area. I don't know if you're familiar. Mm -hmm. We used to live in this ranch there. Like it was like a private area. It was actually really sick. Like we were rent there. And but then like our neighbor, the neighbor we were rent for, she got like really racist after Trump became president. So she kicked, kicked us out and then like literally gave my parents like two week notice. And my dad's like, dude, that's not right. Like, do you really think I'm going to find a spot like in less than two weeks? Yeah, so then... And then luckily he found a house, like, I don't know how long it took him, but luckily he found a house, moved to Pomona, and now we live in, we've been living there so for, like, two years now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the only thing that sucked about the ranch is that we never had Wi-Fi, so it was, like, after, like, we tried getting Wi-Fi there, but because, like, it was, like, a private area, the service was just shitty. Like, even when people tried calling us, like, it was shitty. And then we moved out. We got Wi-Fi. We started creating content. So then we, my mom was all like, oh, it worked out. Like, now you guys are content creators. <laughs> we have Wi-Fi. Oh, <laughs> But, like, shit. if we were still living there, I don't think we would be, we would be content creators. Well, we would creators have tried, right? you know? Yeah. But it would have been hard. There's always a way. There's always yeah. A way. yeah. So you guys only have maybe, like, two years into this. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, damn. Okay. What the f <laughs> So... Prior to being on, on like on the on the ranch, and the, like we're gonna take a little bit more back. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit more back, yeah. right? When you guys like not crazy, but like say high school. How were you guys in high school? Were you in get high school. were the funny duo still? Uh, nah, nah. <laughs> in high school, we were losers. <laughs> nah, we were we were just quiet. We were like taking AP classes, honor students, that type of stuff. Wait, you guys would be in the same classes, same everything, or uh, separate? School, yeah. Yeah. yeah, in high school. Well, freshman year they didn't let us. Yeah, they didn't let like uh, elementary. They didn't let us be like in the same classes, like the separate. I remember crying so much because I wanted to be in the same class as her. Oh. She also had the fun teacher. And my teacher, <laughs> I was like, I don't want to be with those people. Full. <laughs> <laughs> I think I cried for a week straight so I can get changed to Laura's class, but they're like, no, that's they not going to work. work. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys have, like, the same friend group the whole time? Dude, I don't um, remember. In elementary, <laughs> thing, you had a different friend group? Because I remember because she would always get in fights with this other Oh, the friend group? Well, no. like, not like five Damn. fights. <laughs> like, just like Like, you words. threw it down. No, 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 like, words fight, like, like. I kiss my ass, you know, like just like words, what? you know. <laughs> that's like that's so. We fight. got the calm one, and then yeah. we got the one. Wait, she so would, she would the... always get in trouble. I remember that. <laughs> oh. You're the calm one then. Yeah. Well, not well, so not, much anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think is the calm one from us too? Think you are. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, mm. Nah, is it? So I'm 27. He's 23. Okay. He's a little bit crazy. Yeah, because he's barely. No, yeah, what do you mean? like I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a whole dad. So like, I got my dad is like, bro, let's cap, relax. <laughs> but and then when it comes down to like one sip of drinking, fuck it, it is what it is now. <laughs> yeah. So, but we have, we have a, we have a balance. Kind of, do you guys have that type of balance also? Like, if someone yeah. overthinks or if someone's trying to do something, like does someone bring it back or 
Like, what, how does that work? No, I think we're both just we're as crazy. <laughs> yeah, we're like. like uh, Chinga su madre. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know how to explain it, but. <laughs> were you, when did it happen for you guys, like, that you guys decided, like, hey, we're, we're pretty funny. It, we should put a camera in front of us. We should do a content. When did that happen for you guys? So it happened in the pandemic, like when everything was closed. Um, because like, well, I was like, well, there's nothing else to do. So might as well like start. Because we've been wanting to create content since like we were in college. Yeah. Um, but we didn't make room for it. We would always prioritize either classes or like our work or yeah. anything but content. Yeah. Right after college, we started working. Our first job straight out of college, it was wearing this big ass beer costume. We were walking beers <laughs> yeah. straight out of college. Hey, it paid 25 of the hours. So we're like, why not? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. And then at that beer festival, these drunk people wanted to get on top of us. And I they forgot hear, that there was like people inside the costume. And they think there was somebody like watching us. And they're like, no, no, don't get inside. There, there's somebody actually in there. I was like, you better watch out for me. You better not let me drunk the beer? people. Was it like October it first was, type of it was this was in Oregon. It was a beer festival, and oh. we were promoting because uh, we went to Rainier. school out there, and we stayed like for like almost a year what? after we graduated from. What part of Oregon? It was Portland. Uh, Portland. Oh, Portland, Oregon. Oh, yeah. dang. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, so you guys didn't go to Oregon. So no, no we didn't no, go okay. to Portland. No. So, but that damn that brings just another change right there. Yeah, that's, that's a you guys change. left here and moved states away to go to school, like. Was it just easier because both of you guys went, or was it hard for you guys to even decide to do? Well, leave? our oh. parents, they didn't give us a choice. They were like, if you guys don't go to the same college, you're not going to college. Yeah. Because we were going to choose different schools. Like, that was a plan, because, like, mm -hmm. in high school, we were never that close. And so we're like, all right, like, we can, like, we can part go ways. Our, own way, our own ways. And then, and then our parents like, if you go your separate ways, you can just forget about college. I was like, are you serious? They're like, yeah. So I was like, okay. <laughs> why, why do you think that was, though? I don't, I think it's did to you guys watch ever out ask? for each other. Yeah, to watch out for each other. What, does your, do you guys have this same type of relationship with, like, with your older brother? No. no. We're uh, not he's close. A, he's, he's a snitch, so. He's a snitch. <laughs> <laughs> he's a snitch. Hey, Cheers to that. How do, you, <laughs> how do you feel about that, Angela? Why'd you have to look at her? Little evil twin over there, huh? Se ve bien calmada, pero They said they're not sisters, but they have the same jacket on, so that, <laughs> that's besides the fact. You guys moving over there, how was, how's it changed, though? Because a lot of Hispanics, a lot of, you know, kids that are in high school that do really good in high school, <clears throat> they never leave because parents say to stay close. Yeah. Parents say stay close to home, do this, do that, or... Uh, yeah. So, what, like, how does that work out? Especially because the people that are the people that are gonna watch, they're either people that are in transition, currently in college and staying at home and wanting to have an opportunity to get out. But uh, my parents want me to stay home. I need to. I need to have responsibilities here. Yeah. yeah. Um. So for us, we wanted to go away for college because. They were so strict growing up, like, during high school. Yeah, like, during high school, they didn't even let us go to prom, but we snuck our way to prom. Yeah, That's right. That's right. <laughs> because I was like, like there's dude, no that's way. the only dance I, like, want to go. Like, yeah, like, really we never went to any of the high school dances. Never. The, who planned, that, who planned that, that escape? They did. She did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she's the wild one, bro. I even made a fake flyer because we were part of this, like, um, it's called Bright Prospect. They help lower income students uh -huh. get into college and they do like little events here and there. So <laughs> I made a flyer saying like they were hosting like, no, they, they were having like a, they, they were going to take us to the Pantages Theater here in LA. Oh, cool. you made a, you made a flyer for your parents. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. she is smart. I was just straight hey, up. And flying. magically it landed on prom day and time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, my mom didn't know because we had asked if we can go to prom and my dad said no. Yeah. And I was like, well, you let my brother go. He's like, well, that's different. I was like, why? Because he's a guy. And then he didn't say anything. And then we even got our neighbor involved. We're like, can you please help him? Like, tell him that we want to go to prom. And then she gave him this whole beautiful speech. She's like, they deserve to yeah. go. Like, they're really And then my dad was like, ¿Qué dijo? And they were like, oh. <laughs> And I was like, if I translate this, you're not going to believe me. Like, yeah. yeah. I was like, whatever, dude. Like, I give up. So then, like, we gave it, like, a month later. Like, we gave him time to forget about prom. So then that's when I brought up, like, the fake flyer thing. <laughs> and then I put the fake logo of my prospect there. <laughs> time, place, smart. everything. So with all that trouble, how was prom? 
It was, it was good. It was good. I mean, it was good, but then towards the end, it was stressful because we're like, fuck, we need to get back home at a certain time. And then we were, we took a limo back and the limo broke down. And then I don't know how my parents had our friend's number. So then our, my friend's like, here, your parents won't stop calling. And then I'm like, I don't know, dude, let's get to Like, I don't know, make up something. And then, um, we finally got We've, back. We like separated ways from that friend and then she got home before us. So then when she talked to my parents at the other time, she was like, oh, yo, 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 mi casa. And then my oh. parents were like, then where the fuck are my daughters at? <laughs> yeah. oh and I was like, why God. would you say that, bro? So then like, like 10 minutes later after that call, we finally made it. Like we were like, oh, it's que el carro no, I don't know what the fuck I said. Yeah. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So were your parents just like always like, Strict on you guys yeah. because you're girls. I think so. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. did you think that paid off or? I think it, it did because then we moved out to Oregon <laughs> thanks to them being really straight because we wanted to see like what it's like living without them. So we. I mean, at first it was really hard. Like we were so homesick. We yeah. couldn't sleep. We couldn't eat. We couldn't like. I was like, oh, I hate this. I yeah. miss my parents. <laughs> but then after like when we got involved with like college um like activities, then we're like, oh, okay, this is kind of fun. It's cool. But then we went a little too wild, like in college, like the parties. I was like, "Oh shit!" Hey, Oregon, <laughs> Oregon parties go hard. He, he has family that. out there, so like oh, okay. he's partied Oregon. out there. He's like, Oregon. "Dude, we got a party in Oregon." Yeah. I was like, "Dude, if we barely survive parties here, how can we travel over there?" But, but why Oregon? Why why choose Oregon? Oh, it was the only school that accepted us, like out of state. Yeah, and oh, also yeah. they gave us the best like financial aid. Like at at the end, I only ended up with four thousand in loans, which is nothing. Um. So, and they only have offered so much financial aid because they wanted diversity in campus. <laughs> like, yeah. we were, like, two of, like, ten Hispanic students. The rest were just white. And yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a lot of white people. Yeah, yeah there's a lot. Yeah, and yet they would confuse us. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, one time this lady was staring at me, and then she went up to me, and then she's like, hi, we want an appointment on Friday. I was like, no, we don't. And then I was like, maybe you're confusing me for my twin. She's like, oh, okay, I'm so sorry, Guadalupe. I was like, Guadalupe? <laughs> yeah. What the? And this is my other friend. Is, is she, she looks nothing like us. Like, tiene ojos de colores, tiene lentes, short hair, curly hair. And, like, I think she's, is she shorter than us? Yeah, she's a little shorter than us. So then, I'm, uh, I'm yeah. not going to lie, Oregon has a lot of racist people. Yeah. Do, yeah. I went to uh, Lake like, Oswego, which is, like, a very white oh, rich yeah, place Lake to go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Lake Oswego, yeah. <laughs> bro, everyone was staring at me like I was in the fucking zoo or something. Yeah, <laughs> they bro, they were, like, and then to, to top it off, uh, I want to go eat because I was meeting some friends. And I was meeting the CEO of Nike there. Oh, yeah, so I said, I said, I said, what's up to my homie? And he was like, oh, this and that. And everyone looked at me like, you know this, mama? Like, what the hell? And then, so after that, I fit in with, Wait, the, with the white was, people. This was the help. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So why come back? Um, so, okay, so after we graduated college, um, we stayed out there. And then, because she still needed to take one more art class. So oh, our no, parents needed to complete four credits, like, during summer. So, so I stayed there for summer school. But luckily, like, our college, they were like, you guys can walk, but you just have to, like, finish those credits. Luckily, they let her walk because yeah. normally they don't do that, like, where you're missing credits and... Yeah. You, it's yeah. like, that's a false walk. Yeah. 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 Like, you're not graduated yet. Yeah. Yeah. Relax. Yeah, yeah, you're still missing credits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go back to class. So. Yeah, so um, after uh, we graduated, our parents, they drove up there and then they drove down with some of our stuff because the plan was for us to just finish those uh, summer classes or for her. And I didn't have back. anything to do. I was just in the house, like, doing literally nothing i couldn't find a job at first so like all of our housemates they all had jobs maria has school i was literally just there like doing nothing wasting my like day just watching tv i was like damn this sucks like no she was cleaning the house she was doing something oh yeah at least i was cleaning the house i would come back to a clean house but um uh what was i gonna oh yeah our parents so after she finished her summer classes they're like okay yeah cuando se van a venir? and then we're like um actually we found a job we're gonna stay out here they're like what my dad got so mad at us he didn't talk to us for like six months right yeah he was like if you don't come back like you can forget that i exist i was like are you serious dude like i just want to see what it's like like living my life like i'm not yeah. doing anything wrong Bro, it's the opposite for me i just dipped to Oregon without telling my dad Oh, or my, like, I just left. I would leave. <laughs> they don't really care about her. <laughs> There's a difference. There's a difference. Your parents care about y'all. About me, so I'll just <laughs> they care about y'all. They would call like three days later. They're like, where you at? And I'm like, oh, I'm in Oregon. They're like, hijo de tu madre. It's just, so, Oregon is fun. Come on, let's wake up in frio, though. Oh, it was cold. At first, it was cold. Like, um, at first, we weren't used to it, especially the rain. Like, raining every day. It's very day. depressing over there. Yeah. It was it's very depressing. depressing over there. Especially coming from Cali when it's like sunny every day. I was mm -hmm. like, what the fuck is Under this? Under degrees and fucking wintertime, no matter. Yeah. And then the last house that we moved into, 
the last two months, I don't know what happened to like the pipes. If they froze, so the heater wasn't no, working. No, they didn't freeze. They were about to. Oh freeze. yeah, they were about to freeze, but the <laughs> heater wasn't working. So, I, but we were about to move out. So the landlord was like, "Hey, Maria, I'm really worried about your pipes." I'm like, "You mean your pipes?" <laughs> 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 we, didn't pay him. we didn't pay him. He's like, "No, I'm really worried. They're about to I freeze." Like, like, I was like, "Let me charge the new tenants because I'm moving out, so I'm not, I'm not paying any of this because it was like six hundred dollars for yeah. the oil." Yeah. So I was like, "I'm mm. dipping, dude. Why should I care?" So then. We got the new tenants to pay for it. We ended up using most of the heater. Well, no, not most of it. <laughs> we used it for like a week. We, but, but it was like during the snow days, so we used a lot of it. So yeah. then, like a month later, when we had already moved out, the new tenants were like, "Hey, like the oils ran out already." It's like, "What do you want me to do, bro? I don't live there." <laughs> like, ¿qué quieres que haga? Like, ya no es mi pelo. No, like, um, dile lo siguiente. Yeah. So <laughs> what? What would you guys say? Like, is was like the biggest takeaway from actually leaving a Hispanic household and leaving, and I'm assuming it was strict, right? I'm assuming the household was strict. Yeah. So, like, what's individually, like, what's, like, your biggest takeaway from literally moving out of state and living on your own for for a while? Um, I think it helped us, uh, like, be more outgoing. Because yeah. we used to be so shy, like, in high school. Like, going up to presentations, I would always, like, start shaking and like my hair would like and like oh I was the worst at presentations <laughs> <laughs> and I would always just embarrass myself I don't even know what the hell I would say <laughs> but yeah like college like made like really like help us like be more at going talk more to people mm -hmm. yeah um and then also I don't know what else <laughs> um it made us like live more independent because we before we were used to like our mom doing everything oh, yeah. like laundry Cooking, cooking. Uh, like everything yeah. pretty much just we had it all and then once we moved out there like we started doing our own laundry and my mom she literally separates everything like whites <laughs> blacks colors and the whites she has them <laughs> soaked like a day before and then when we came back with our dirty or with our clothes she's like ¿Qué es esto? Toda la ropa bien fea? ¿Qué les hicieron? I'm like mom I put it on the same load I don't have time to separate everything it's like no dude there's no time like, no the, I think <laughs> Mexican moms, Hispanic moms, they're magical. Next level. Yeah. Yeah, they're magical. Like house is always clean. Dishes yeah. are never stacked up. Yeah. Ropa is nicely folded. Yes. I'm, and like then I have a hamper, like, let me just pick out fucking clothes. Fuck <laughs> yeah. I've picked out clothes from yeah. my hamper. I flip <laughs> socks. I'm like, I think I can go for another round. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Now what I do is when my socks get dirty and I don't want to wash, I just go buy new ones. I go to try. Oh, I, I, I have that bad habit. Like if have if I need to wash, I'm like just really lazy, which is all the time. Yeah. Target run. Yeah. yeah. I literally have like seven of these white shirts because I don't want to wash <laughs> it. They're like they're like six bucks, so I'm like I'm gonna go buy another one. So you said COVID is what happened and where this started to come around. Yeah. So how do you work that dynamic? How did was this? Is there a persona that you had to turn into, or was this already happening? Without the camera in front of you guys. Um, okay, so when we started, like, first we didn't know what we were doing, like, with content. We were just doing videos, but we didn't know what. Yeah, like, at first she had us doing the net, the, the dances. And I'm like, dude, I suck. I'm like, allí está tiendo We're not dancers, like, at all. But I, uh, TikTok, you know, when it started, like, mostly it was just dancers. Yeah. So I was like, I want to, like, we're twins, bro. We can make it happen. Yeah, and then the first dance that we posted, it took us, what, like, four hours to, like, nail it down. And we forgot to smile. So then we posted that video, and people were just coming at us for our smile. They're like, why do they have creepy smiles? Because I was and like... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we were so focused in the dance, we forgot to smile. And we posted it like, like that. We're like, yeah, yeah, chinga su madre, yeah, así, yeah, así ponlo. And then um, we were also trying to do like these, like, we got this, we have this frame, and we were trying to do like mirror oh, poses. Yeah. And, and um, that also took us like a while. And then we posted it like that, and we sent it to our friend. We're like, hey, does it look like we're, like, it's we're a mirror? Seated. And, and he and was like, no, dude, it looks like shit. I was like, I'm <laughs> no, sorry, it looks like bro. shit. It's been but a at day. Least, at least he was honest, you know? Because, yeah. And then I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to post it like that because we're tired. Like, And then we were flopping. We were at 30 followers for like three months. We were just like not growing at all. And then the day we were going to like call it quits, that video blew up. It I was like, like to last, like, this is the last video I post. Like, I'm literally tired of wasting my time. Like, because that's what it felt like. But you guys, your intention was to grow. Yeah, it was yeah. to grow, yeah. Well, at first it was just to like, because we thought the pandemic was going to end in like maybe one or two months. So we're like, let's just do this while we get back to our regular jobs. Um, and it, the 
you know you guys Ever. know it never came back <laughs> not that year we, we were stuck for a pretty long time <laughs> yeah. yeah fuck yeah it took forever so what was that video that that blew oh, up for you guys it was a prank to our dad um so he had gotten in the shower and he uses our speakers for the shower and i was like oh let's prank him because he, he that day just, he had tried me quería cobrar like for something i don't remember what so i, I was no. like oh you he was paying Laura back for something, but no, they pagó puras coras. Like, it was a joke. Oh, so that's then, some petty <laughs> shit. So then I was like, oh, no, we have to get him back for that. So then when so he then was he, was, the he got in the shower. He started playing his music. So then I went to my phone because it was my phone connected to the speakers. <laughs> and I went to my phone, went to Snapchat, paused the music, and I put on record. I was like, señor, ya se le acabó su tiempo. ¿Desea poner más coras? <laughs> and I just had that audio on repeat. And then he started talking back to the speaker, like, oh, yeah. Dile, dile a Martin, that's our brother's name. <laughs> He's like, Dile Martin, que te de las coras. And then he was just talking to the speaker back, and that was literally the prank. I was like, oh, and like that video blew up for us uh -huh. because, like, the like the fact that our dad was speaking to the speakers and that Laura just left the voice <laughs> repeating, like, ya se le acabó su tiempo. Desea poner más coras. I kept repeating <laughs> itself. <laughs> So then after we're like, let's just keep pr pranking our dad. Yeah. But then I took it too far. So I was like, no, dude, I can't. What was, do this. What was that? Uh, why? That was a, why? That was why did you take it too far? <laughs> it was terrible. Okay, so we have um, the new house we moved into. It has a garage because before. Um, the ranch we lived at, so it, it, a garage, so. it was just a little small little trailer. Mm -hmm. But anyways, um, the prank was that we put we made this big, I mean fake uh, beehive, and um, we even like got like the speakers to. The noise, yeah. to do the, oh, so, the noise. So my dad was just supposed to go in there, just look up, and I was just supposed to pull the string. But nah, he went to go get ladders, and I don't know why my dumb ass still thought it was a good idea to pull the string of the like fake shit we did. Yeah, so, so he like he was already in the ladders, and he jumped. He could have like hurt himself pretty bad, but luckily like he caught himself, so no le pasó nada. But, but then I, when he noticed that it was a prank, he's like, "Oh my god!" He yelled at us like, like the, the, "Wait, wait, how, like, how tall is your dad?" If he had to get a ladder, like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. He's, he's like, my height, okay, right? Tall, how tall are Me, you? I'm like 5'5", five, five, right? He's probably 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, he got the ladders, and then I pulled the string, and then he, like, like obviously got scared seven. because something's coming at him. Yeah. And and then, palo. Yeah, so then he, like, he had never yelled at us so badly. Like, it was a bad word after a bad word. Like, hija de la chingada, no piensa. And then I was like... And I was like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Like, I was going to kill my dad for a fucking... Bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So just for the content. Dude. Yeah. Do it for the did, vine. Did you guys post that one, though? Yeah, we did post it. Because I was like, yeah, me regañaron. Like, <laughs> you're like, yeah, está ahí el video. Like, yeah. So did your dad see this content? Like, yeah. Did no, he didn't see it. Um, but then after, like, our family members, like, they started, like, I guess we started popping on, on their the For You page. page. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. then they started bringing it up. I was like, oh, shit, not this. Like, yeah. And then after that prank, he didn't talk to us for one week. Oh, yeah. And then... My dad is like... When he gets mad, he won't talk to us for a life. Like, we, none of us will say sorry. We just will avoid each other. <laughs> At all costs. <laughs> At all costs. We just avoid each other. We won't say or, like, sorry. Just, just start talking about other stuff randomly. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'll be like, okay. how's the weather? Like, <laughs> but, um, yeah, ¿Ya no, comiste, amiga? ¿Ya comiste? Okay. Yeah. Nah, I think that that's just, like, when... Hispanic parents never want you to get tattoos. I think that's just a thing with everybody. Yeah. So when I got caught with my tattoos, literally my dad came and he's like, yo, pick up your shirt. I was like, oh, fuck. This was like right after 18. And I was like, for what? Like, that's weird, bro. What are you trying <laughs> to see? He was like, pick it up. You have tattoos. I was like, no, I don't. Then pick it up. I was like, dude, that's weird. Why would I do that right now? And usually I'm always, I always had like without my shirt or whatever. But this time, like, I was already like covered and... I guess my mom got tired of it, and she just fucking came and lifted up one side of my shirt, which it wasn't the one full, filled up. It's just my last name on my rib. She said, hmm, para eso querías. I was like, ¿qué es? I was like, es, es el apellido. Well, if you forgot your name, you forget mine. Barrio oh, verga. Shit. For like a whole, like two weeks. Like, we were literally in the same house. I was still living with my parents. They didn't talk to me. No me servía comida. <laughs> No me lavaba la ropa, nothing. Like, she just, like, we were, like, just walking by each other. And then a couple of days later, like, after I she was in the room and I had to go, like, face her. I was like, look, before, like, you're already mad. There's nothing more that you can do. So I was like, I got to tell you something. What? And I was like, don't get mad, though. You got someone pregnant. I was like, no, whoa. I was That's like, the first thing they always yeah. say. And it was like, Casey, stay. 
And I was like, look, I have one, two, like, I'm covered. Ahí, ahí Eduardo. Ahí Eduardo. Parece, parece pizarrón, yeah. <laughs> Wait, but how'd, you, how'd your dad know you had a tattoo? I got burned out by somebody. I was at the homie's house at that time, and we were working on the car. Oh. And I guess when I leaned over to, like, the engine, like, my oh. side picked up. Yeah. And she's like, es que me dijeron que tenías tatuajes. I was like, I know who. I know. I know. I was like, I already, I already know who because that person, the mom, was like, "You just got tatuajes?" I was like, "No." Oh. Yeah. A day, always, yeah. a day later, just got burnt out. But I think the parent. We we just said this last week. Like, if our parents weren't as strict as they were with us, like we, I don't think we would have a structure. Yeah. In a Pretty sense, much, like yeah. the people that are always wild in and out, and you know, not having a future. And sometimes they didn't get that the type of like loving love at home, but yeah. our parents con el cinto, con las palabras, like con lo que tengan en la mano, yeah. like they're not, they're not they're not nice. They're they're not like oh mijo, it's okay, hijo de tu puta yeah. madre, yeah. qué hiciste? Yeah. It's like dude, how can like you talk to me like? But like now it's little people are more soft, right? Yeah. Like the way you talk to them, but it's just I feel like that's just the way you have. To me, you have, like, if you have emotion behind it, that's the way uh, that should just pro project. You guys good? We good? Yeah. yeah. Ready. You want the shot now or you want it later? Uh, we can distribute it. In the <sighs> Take this right now. The end. Up to you. Take a sip. Well, with your guys' waters. Thank Cheers. you guys for coming. Cheers. 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 Thanks for having us. Damn, <laughs> you, like, smacked the cup. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> She's like, you're going <laughs> no me Cheers, bro. <laughs> Como no me invitaste. She's like, <laughs> I'm not saying a word. That was good. I thought I was going to need a chaser. I don't need a chaser. Happy good. dad. That's it. That was good. I felt like a reposado. So, everybody sees how funny you guys are. We're here in person, and the duo is just crazy because, like, you're talking and then finishes it. Or you're talking and then finishes it. Well, we always want to take over each other's stories. So yeah, like, some, like this one time. She, <laughs> was, this one time, she didn't even let me finish this talking. This one time, she wasn't even there. I told her what happened to me, and she thought it was so funny. And then the next day, she was telling everybody. It's like, dude, that's my story. Why are you telling my story? I was like, it was too funny, bro. I don't remember the story. I don't remember the story either. <laughs> but so how does, how does this duo work out? What's the balance? Like, do you guys ever, like... Fuck you, fuck you. Oh, yeah, all the time. Yeah. I don't want to record with you no yeah. more. Yeah, the last fight we had, it was in Mexico. It was actually recently. It was last year in Mexico because we always go to Mexico for the fiestas. Like mm -hmm. the fiestas what, in the What part of you guys from? We're from Jalisco, um, Tecua, which is a small town by Guadalajara. Nice. That's the biggest city next to it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we were there for the fiestas. And then um, the we last day, the, actually the last day we, we drank, we got in a big fight because all of them were a cup. Not even a guy, it was a cup. <laughs> So I was sitting down, and then Laura's like, I'm going to go use the bathroom. Can you watch my cups? I'm like, yeah, dude, I got you. And then she goes, and then I'm just watching people dancing because I, I can't dance, so I admire people dancing. So I'm just like, man, I wish I could dance like that. And then, um, and then I come back. back. I come back from the bathroom, and then I'm like, Oh, so don't tell me about Soriano Lo veo because I didn't want to go buy a new cup. I mean, they weren't even that expensive, they were like five dollars, <laughs> but I didn't want to go buy a new one. And so I was like, dude, where's my cup? And then she's like, I don't know. And then, and then next thing you know, she's pulling me by the hair. Like, I had a high ponytail, she just grabbed me and started like pulling me. And like, next thing you know, I'm over there. I was like, oh, hell no. So I started throwing punches like this, I can't see anything. And then I finally, like, she let go, and then and she then got the cup, the cup that she had, she threw it at me, landed me, it landed right here, and then I had a big chipote right here. Here. And then and afterwards, I wanted to go in for one last punch. I was like, Toma! And then she dug down, and I got this other girl. I was like, Fuck! And then I was like, I disculpa, te confundí con la pendeja de mi hermana. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! That was just like, sorry, but I'm gonna throw my shot at that. You know, like fucking. No! Wait, you guys do blows? Yeah. So then after. Me and Laura were not happy, like, at all. They had to separate us, like, because they got pretty bad. And then, um, all for a fucking cup. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, next to us, next, next to me was my little cousin, Mateo. He's, like, I don't know, seven. Like, eight. Like, eight. eight. I don't yeah. know. But he went to Chismoso, like, telling everybody. He's, like, las, mi tía, las cuatas están peleando, se están peleando. And he told everybody. And the one person I didn't want him to tell was our brother. Of course, he told my brother. And then my brother, of course, he went telling my mom. I mean, and then the Chismoso, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so then, like, as soon as. Ah, that's where it comes yeah. from. Okay. Yeah. Then, so then the next day, um, thank God, we had, like, a hair appointment. So we only saw my mom briefly. She's, like, ya escuché de su pelea. Vamos 
a hablar en la noche. And I'm like, like, oh, al, rat, al rato hablamos. Yeah, she's she's like, like, what did your mom hablamos. say? He's like, son hermanas. Se tienen que cuidar una a otra. Well, okay, no, so okay. that night we... Hey, Loki. Yes. Dude, me, shout out my sister, Jackie. I love you. But like, when we get into it, my mom's like, no son perros y gatos, son hermanos. Yeah. I'm like... That's literally your mom. Saying, that's, that's me and my brother. My brother's like a year and a half older than me. So... When we're younger, we looked alike. You still do. No, we don't. <laughs> we, look, we looked alike, so they would call us twins. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I never liked it at all. I'm like, no, I don't like this. So, and my mom would actually dress as the same. Okay. <laughs> my mom would dress as the same. So everyone's like, ir a los gemelitos, que estoy los oh que And I'm like, fuck, I hate this shit, bro. And then my brother would just like, all right, like, fuck it. Like, he just coped with it. He's like, all right, fuck it, we're twins. I was like, we're not twins, bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> And then we'd always, like, fight in this and that. Like, in the jumper, we would just get down. No, the jumpers are crazy. Oh, yeah, the jumpers are always crazy. Yeah. But now <laughs> we're adults, and I'm going to get down with you, fam. 20,000 subscribers, and I'm getting down with him. Hey. This is the toxicity that got to be around <laughs> with every time. So did you have a conversation with your mom? Yeah, about so, okay, so that night we got back home pretty late, and then she got yeah. sick. Like, le dio tos, and then, like, she couldn't really talk. Then we yeah. came back. Came back from Mexico and then she was still sick for like a week. So then we're like, fuck yeah, ya se lo olvidó que peleamos. <laughs> and then, but then a week later, she, like she randomly, randomly brought it up. Yeah. Like, she was all like, what did she say? She was all like, she said like, I don't even remember what she said, but she just said it very briefly. We just started laughing. Yeah, but we she just laughed and was like, Wait, That's so the important question is, how did you guys make up after that? Oh, uh, okay, <laughs> that so then, morning, because uh, we were at the hair appointment, and Laura said that she was throwing up in the bathroom. Oh, because I was like, okay, so that Cruda. Week, yeah, Cruda. I was cruda, and on top of that, <laughs> on top of that, we tried pajaretes for the first time. Have you guys tried pajaretes? No, nah, not yet. Oh not yet, God. but I heard they're... Uh, oh, they I came forgot what that is. What is that again? So is it the milk? It's, it's, the it's milk fresh milk, tequila. like straight out of the can. Okay, like, yeah, okay, okay. I haven't <laughs> tried it. <laughs> Yes, yes, literally, literally. Like, Wait, but de abajo o de arriba? No, de los dos. dos. No, de los dos. Los dos. No, no, de los dos. dos. If, you, if you want, yeah. I got it. Yeah, you want to. No, you should be lucky. You did. <laughs> For yeah. the cut. I need hey, the cut. If you're looking to lose weight, we're going to Pajarete yes, all together. Yes, yes. Because she weighed 113 and then she weighed 103. Like, not, not even no, kidding. Like, no, I'm on my way. No, 107. Okay, so we have Pajaretes and me and Mary, we never drink milk. Like, not even when we're here, we always drink almond milk or oat milk. I'm like, yeah. hey, vamos a pendejo. We're like, let's go try these every, Pajaretes. Every morning, like, I would wake up like, let's, vamos a los Pajaretes, pero nunca se nos hacía because either we would get there late yeah. or like, because they have to like milk the cows at a certain time and we got there like too late like they're like no hombre ya, ya se llevan la leche ya que vas a agarrar <laughs> um, and then the next day um, our cousin he was supposed to drive us and then he we couldn't get him up so then that should have been a sign for us not to go we, and no. so many times, but we were like no yo quiero los pajaretes like so it, it's a vibe though <laughs> yeah, like it's a vibe. right like especially if you're in any rancho or even on a Sunday Saturday you wake up with your friends and vamos a rancho put on the boots let's go yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking, we're talking wow. shit about you. Wow, don't ever come again, both of you. You guys are weird. No, it, it is, right? Like, yeah. you want to party with your friends, and you're in that realm, like, pajaretes is yeah. it. Yeah. So yeah, we took we them, and then that that morning, that's all we had. Then we didn't eat till, like, three hours later. And then as soon as I had the first bite of whatever I was eating, I was like, oh, God, it's coming out. So I started throwing up. And then afterwards, um, then at, at first, I didn't feel anything. So I was taking care of Laura. I was like, oh. That's how you made up. <laughs> no, no, no. This okay, was this was before, before the, fight. the fight. This was before the fight. But after the fight, my stomach was still not al cien. So I was already cruda. The pajaretes was still in me. So I was like fucking sick that morning. Like I was throwing gotcha. up like so crazy. Then, um, and then I was like, what am I even throwing up? Like there's nothing in my stomach. Oh, like, that's the worst That feeling. is literally the worst. Like uh, it was just like, uh. yeah. So then um, me and Laura were done getting our hair stuff. Like whatever we were getting. Yeah. Like, but our cousin, she was still there. So then we're like, we're going to go get um, some fruit and like water. Do you guys want anything? And then we were walking, and Laura said, can you come with me to the pharmacy? I need to get something because I'm throwing up. I said, like, yeah, sure. But we were still, like, kind of, like, Yeah, we were talking. still, like, not talking. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, yeah, whatever. That was an awkward ass walk yeah, to the was pharmacy. Awkward. It was an awkward walk. <laughs> but, okay, one of the pharmacies, like, across yeah, the street. Yeah, literally, yeah. Well, um, uh, at first, because 
our cuz our cousin's wife she dropped us off at the far, like no at the hair place mm -hmm. and then after when she saw us like cuz she was like wait for me hija like aquí se quedan right I was like yeah we'll stay here but then she sees us walking to a farm and said like ah oh, she ya nos vio she buy things like I don't know she's like a dónde van I was like cuz then I was like voy a agarrar sueros cuz like I have a really bad hangover I was like please don't tell my mom cuz she's very chismosa too Carmen and then, is such a chismosa I hope she doesn't see this part. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap. I won't be sharing this. Uh, <laughs> we we don't cut anything out. I'll tell you that. We don't cut anything out. Hey, I don't cut anything out, but I'm very petty. I'm very petty. He's very petty. I'm I have to cut petty. him off on sometimes. I'm hey, like, but all the cheese men are good cheese men. No, yeah. yeah. But if you're watching this, <laughs> you're a cheese At least she doesn't she doesn't know English. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, just talking English. Fuck it. Go for it. <laughs> But yeah, so she sees us, and then I'm like, oh, what do I tell her? So I was like, whatever, I'm just going to tell her I'm hungover. And then afterwards, I was like, all right, not a word to my mom. Yeah. And then um, we she's went to like, She's like, okay, the pharmacy's just over there, because we were kind of lost. We, we didn't really uh, know. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know my way. And I was like, and I don't know how to walk back to the, I don't want to get too lost, because I was like, then how do I walk back to the hair salon? Because um, <laughs> one time, she was getting her nails done, and oh, the plan yes. was for her and to meet us at a church. They, and they left me. They just left me there, and they were supposed to come back for me, but they never came back. There's no so Google Maps? Okay. Okay. Like, well, they didn't tell me where to go. Uh, so then they were like, Estamos en la, en la iglesia. And I was like, okay, well, where is it? What is it called? And then because there's two iglesias there in that little pueblito. So then she's like, where do I walk to? So she was actually lost in that light. And I started freaking out. I was like, can you just come get me? Like, how hard is it, bro? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but anyways, we made up because um, then we went to go eat. And then at the restaurant, we, we were telling her because she didn't know we had a fight. Oh, yeah, so we, we started Carmen. Yeah, but, and then I was like, "Don't say a word to my mom." Oh no, we actually were like, "Oh, I forgot she already said it." Van a ver cuando regresen del de de su appointment. So I was like, "Doesn't even matter." Oh no, I was like, "No, no, wait, don't say anything." Our dad doesn't know, and my dad is more strict than my mom. So I was like, "Don't say anything." But like, thank God, my dad didn't find out. Everybody found out except for our dad. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> After today, he found out. I know. <laughs> <laughs> After today, he found out. It's already too late. He's not even mad. Your yeah, dad's already like, "Van a ver cuando lleguen." <laughs> Well, we right now? Yeah. <laughs> so our thing here is is more than than the persona online, right? Because we see you guys and if anybody watching this and everybody watching this, like they see the the duo joyful, funny, like back and forth, finishing each other's sentences as we imagine twins will do, right? Like twins, they have finish each other's sentences, blah blah blah. But do you guys ever have, like, those tough moments on your own? What do you mean? Or, like, say, like, I don't know, like, you're, maybe when this social media thing wasn't paying off. Like, you had the viral videos, you started paying, it started, like, getting the views or whatever. But maybe at one point in these two years, there was, like, a moment where this shit wasn't going nowhere. Or you thought that, you know what, maybe it's not going to go nowhere. Like, do you, how do you guys deal with that type of adversity where you're just like, damn, am I doing the right thing? I went to college and I'm and I'm doing this now. Like, what what am I doing? So, like, how do you guys individually deal with that, or like, how do you yeah. guys deal with that? Well, like, I still ask myself sometimes, like, yeah. damn, am I still on the right path? Like recently, cause like, uh, like social media is not, you know, like once you start growing, you are you keep growing, you know. Like, like we've had moments where like where we're stuck, and like like right now we're currently stuck. So I'm like, damn, is this the right like shit for me? Like, it's gonna this is the end. So yeah, like by nice, like but we still keep going. We're just like let's just keep posting videos. But what? But what keeps you going then? Uh, I don't know. For me, it's our followers. Like, oh, yeah, like followers. the the ones that write comments, like, oh, like I was having a shitty day, and your video just made my day. Like those kind of like people may make us keep going. Yeah, this, they're the reason like that we keep going because they're like, oh, like, like when are you guys gonna keep posting? Like, cause we have some, we uh we also have a YouTube channel, but we're not. Like, we don't post her really as active. often. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just because, like, Laura's lagging over there. <laughs> Not even. We don't even make content. Samir, you don't have to blame him. You don't have to blame him. He's going to blame me. Watch. He's going to blame me. He's going to say something. Dude, this solution, I'm going to start posting more for, for, sure, for sure. I told you. And I, I looked at him. You. I was like, you're full of shit. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I posted once this month. We're on, like, fucking week. week three of the new year already. But anyways, <laughs> we're not about that today. It's about you guys. I have a lot of ideas, and I just I get lost. Have you guys ever, like... Suffer through like anxiety or depression, anything like that, that maybe um, your your followers, audience don't know, maybe even your family doesn't know. I only get anxiety from driving. I hate driving. Like I fucking hate it. <laughs> or like that, or like that one. You you can say you're homesick in oh, Oregon, huh? away oh, from your yeah. family, alone. 
Yeah. You obviously yeah, feel we, alone in a new when state. When we moved out to Oregon, like, we were very homesick. Like, I mean, we didn't get depressed or anything because we had each other. Yeah. And yeah. then we, like, started mm. talking to, like, other friends. Um, and that helped us, like, get through the first semester of college. Yeah. Um, but it was definitely, like, tough because, like, we didn't have, like, we couldn't go, like, drive to our parents because, like, they were a flight away. Yeah. Um, mm. But I don't think there's ever been a moment where we've been depressed. I don't know. I think we're just, like, happy people in general. Yeah, and um, we always have each other, like, I think, like, going to, away to college to a different state helped us get more close. And then when we were in college, because we, um, when we started, like, when we were out there, like, we didn't know what we wanted to study. Yeah. So we jumped around, like, from major to major, because I was like, I don't know what I want. And then, like, it was, like, our third year. I was like, dude, we got to choose something. So we ended up choosing Spanish. I was like, I don't care, bro. Like, something. Like, it's something. Hey, and that Spanish is not the same Spanish as No, it's not. <laughs> it's completely <laughs> freaking <laughs> different. I'll tell you that. Yeah. 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 so we did hispanic studies which is like the history of like latin america and because we chose that major they it was a requirement to study abroad in another country so we studied abroad in spain and when we were out there like that was another level like we were more homesick than oregon obviously it's a new country Mm -hmm. like we were nowhere near our parents so yeah, then, like the first week we got there, I was like, "Fuck, I miss my my floor, I miss <laughs> my bed." Yeah, um, no, I th- we thought we were gonna be good because we're like, "Well, we already live in Oregon." Yeah, like, like it's not. Too we much thought it was gonna change. be the same, but no, it was different. Like, cause also like their food is different. We and then we asked them if they can put us in the same host family, but they're like, "No, we want you guys to have different experiences." But at least they put us in the same building, and she was just uh, the door in front of me. Like I oh, could literally sh- walk to her place, and I was over at her place all the time. Her host mom got mad at me because I was using Spanish her Spanish people are so stingy like, they're so stingy oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah I have a lot of, of, of like friends from Spain yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah like so because Laura was over all the time and I over was there. only over at her place because her place was way nicer like era más moderna my place was like dark really old and like sometimes she wouldn't even clean like oh this one time I saw her washing my clothes with like the broom that she uses to clean the the my my <laughs> husband was like Next level cochina, like this, <laughs> Next this level other cochina. Time, this other time she would feed me like hairs like in my food. Like I found so many hairs in my food. Like ya ni me quería comer su comida. Like one time I was eating lasagna and I pull out one hair. I'm like, okay, we can get through this, oh. we can get through this. And then I'm still eating. I find another one and it's bigger. I'm like, where's she oh. getting these hairs from? Oh. Because the lady was shit, almost like she it. had like a bus like you almost <laughs> and I'm like, where is she getting these hairs from? Like and so like does she hate me like wh- like oh, and then purposefully the putting these hairs in there yeah and then oh, I, sh- I like i didn't know how to confront her so instead i told like my program coordinators like hey can you talk to her like ask her to like not feed me hairs and um and they talked to her and then it was it got a little better but then afterwards when i would go over to her place a lot more then me regañó también su mamá and like my host mom because so over there they're really strict with electricity like if you're not using it you have to turn it off so Laura was over at my room and then I was like hey I'm gonna get something from the kitchen are you gonna stay here or come with me Laura's like oh let me just get water so then Laura came with me but she forgot to go back to the room and she left the lights on so then when she went back to the room my whole mom went after her like a fucking dog it was like Tú, bueno, ¿tú quién te crees que eres? Siempre estás aquí en mi casa usando mi electricidad, mi papel del baño, mi agua, mis yeah. cosas. Like, she went on. And she was screaming at me, like, in their, like, Spaniard, like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. then I'm, like, trying to process everything that she's saying. So I just, like, took my things and I, like, didn't say anything to her. I just took off with my things. Maria messaged me. And then I was just, like, in my bed, like, trying to process what just happened because that lady's not even, not even my mom. Like, yeah, I'm like, like what the fuck the is she? <laughs> like, I was like, not even my mom screams at me that's bad, you know? She's, she's in the mirror doing the, the little comebacks are you talking to me <laughs> who the fuck do you think you're talking hold on no, no, that wasn't good that was good <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah so then after that it was like really awkward with them like with both of them so then like we, we just felt like they were to always talking shit like having their cafecito like about us whenever we would go to school yeah and I was like damn I fucking hate them bro like how long did you guys last there we um, were there for like six months yes. Jesus fucking and Christ. then we were supposed to stay there two weeks after like the program ended like for the school uh-huh. like, just like to explore and well, I we were supposed originally? to travel like Europe but we ran out of money so I was like I guess we can stay in Spain bro <laughs> yeah <laughs> then, like, yeah I literally like came like back that. with like zero dollars like no we were at negative dude. oh yeah we were at negative Jeez. yeah like negative like I don't know a hundred two hundred not yeah. Too bad, yeah, but yeah. Not too bad. But what's that? What's that process look like then? So when you come back from, you know, what other people would say, man, you had the best time of your life, blah blah blah. You're over there. What does that process look like when you come back and you're broke? 
Um, what did we do? That what did time? we do? I don't, I don't think I did anything. <laughs> I, don't, I, I, I don't remember what happened that year. Like, we drank so much that I just bled. No, <laughs> <laughs> that whole year now. Uh, take whole take whole me with you. Take me blood. with you, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Where'd you guys go? <laughs> Ibiza. <laughs> oh, hey. yo. Yo. I have, okay, okay. Yeah. I, I remember my friend came, came to, to the U.S. He's from Spain. And he's obviously underage. And he's like, yo, I need to go to Ibiza and this and that. And I had my school ID, like, way back from high school. Like, what, five years ago? Or so, so like, four or five years ago. <laughs> to you. <laughs> to you. He's like, yo. <laughs> but, um, Shit, I'm about to hit my 10-year ten year, ten year reunion already. <laughs> uh -huh. I give him my ID. I give him my ID from high school, and he actually went to Ibiza, and he got in with my high school ID. Oh, he dude. looked nothing. I'm, like, fucking prieto as fuck. <laughs> he's fucking blonde hair, white as fuck, blue eyes, y todo. And he got in. I was like, no freaking way, dude. So after that, he would send me pictures and stuff. I'm like, damn, I really want to go. Wow. Yeah. That's an amazing story, dude. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, my bad. Huh? Don't go underage drinking. We don't promote that here in this podcast. We Thank you for that. 18. Hey, I never said he drank. I just said he got in. You got to be 21 to drink no, here. No, oh, it's 18. Yeah. yeah. Really? It is. All of Europe is 18 and over. See. Yeah. Still, even one country is 16. Mexico? <laughs> yeah, Mexico too, yeah. 10 years old con las cabamas. My cousin's 14. Uh, 10 years old con hey, las cabamas. ¿Cómo se dice excuse me in Mexico? <laughs> Quítese a la verga. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen the video of the little kid driving yeah. the bike down the... Down the <laughs> when he's going down. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I spilled my whole freaking energy to call me. So is, is there something... I mean, you guys seem so, so fucking close. Like... I feel like you guys know the, the ins and outs of your guys' is. But is there something that individually, like, that you guys, that maybe she doesn't know about you, like, of how you feel? Or you guys like, don't share with each other, like, some. No, something. we always just share. Well, yeah. we blur shit out. Like, yeah. we're, like, super honest. Like, once, like, if she attacks me, then we just go for, like, go back and forth, like. I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah, well, I don't know what we say, but. <laughs> yeah, but we're pretty honest with each other. Like, I think. After college, that's when we, like, became really close. And then especially after going abroad together. Yeah. Hola, um, let me hit you with a good question, a perfect question. So what is one thing or a couple of things that you guys are grateful for for each other? Because when you have that type of relationship with either a best friend or a sibling, like, you always got to be thankful for something that they did that maybe they didn't know that they really did, right? Like, me and him, we talked about it. Me and her, Jose, we've all talked about this, of certain things that we're thankful for. And randomly, like, hey, you may not, not have known this, but you did this for me, and I want to thank you. Is there something like that for you guys that maybe she doesn't know that you're thankful for her or vice versa? Well, I'm thankful that she drives because I don't drive like, <laughs> at, like at all. That's what she said. I get anxiety from driving. <laughs> yeah, I fucking hate it. I'm, like, bro, I'm trying to make this shit emotional over here. Bro. I'm trying to make it emotional and touchy, like... Well, she <laughs> I'm thankful that you drive. I'm thankful that you drive. He's always driving, bro. <laughs> okay, can you get us one? Um, I'm thankful that she always does the roles for the video skits. Because for the skits, I fucking hate. I like be. I like being behind the camera and just filming her. Um, so I'm thankful. But when she gets mad at me, she makes me do the role. Oh my god, I fucking hate it. <laughs> yeah, she'll be there for like one hour doing the mom role, and then I'll be looking at her, and I want to burst out laughing, but she's already mad, so I don't laugh because I know she'll throw a fist at me. <laughs> yeah, once we were working on an ad for like, and it was due. It was already four in the morning. We were finishing it up, and I had to turn it in at six in the morning, and we got mad at each other. I don't know for what. Yeah. And so I was like, fine, I won't do the mom role anymore. And I was like, fine, I don't need you. So then they were was trying to finish this mom role, and then I was like, I had to redo that role. Like I don't know, it took me almost an hour, and then I was like, Sheesh. fucking hell, Laura, if you'd have just <laughs> fucking finished this role, we would have been done already. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I'm thankful that she always does her role. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, so it, is there something that, like, you guys, you guys are so happy, like, this is so crazy, to, like, to really see somebody so <laughs> joyful and happy, right, all depressed over here, and shit, the rain out there, like, you know, I want to cry, like, for those people that watch you guys, and that are, like, probably just wondering how, how to keep a positive, a positive mindset, how to be happy. Um. We always look at the positive things and everything. Like, for yeah, instance, like, last week, we um, we went to Target, and the, 
battery wouldn't turn on anymore. So we just started laughing. We're like, this what we happened started, to us? We just started laughing. <laughs> yeah, we started laughing. I was like, let's just get some IG stories. I was like, no, pues ole, wey, te toca empujar la troca, wey. <laughs> but we always just look at the bright side. I mean, things. there was no bright side to that. Yeah, we don't have bright side. <laughs> She's like, raw papers, a ver, que empuja. All of a sudden, she goes, who wants to drive? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. She was like, I'll drive now. <laughs> <laughs> so you just gotta look at the bright side of things. Yeah. Like, um, let's see. Oh, also before when before the pandemic, we used to f- travel a lot, and we would always miss our flights. And at like at some point, we just started laughing. We're like, well, ya que we ya lo pedimos otra vez, like ya que se va a hacer. But we've always like been in these situations where like we're like, damn, ya la cagamos otra vez. So for us now, it's funny like to us because we're like, dude, like. Nunca aprendemos. <laughs> Who's fault was it though? Alguien se tardó en el baño. ¿Qué pedo? No. Okay, no. I'll tell you. I'll tell you the story. Remember when you lost us our luggage, bro? <laughs> <laughs> this fool. This was our. This fool. <laughs> okay, this was. Let me explain. What's... Bro, she's dying. No, dude, let me tell you. Oh, my no. God. Okay, okay so this was the we... second time we flew ever. ever. <laughs> and. <laughs> yeah, this was the second flight. No, maybe the first flight. I don't remember. No, but it was, it was one of our first like, flights yeah. for sure. And so we had to catch a uh, like a second flight in SF because we had a connecting flight there. Yeah. And but we were like cutting it so close to the connecting flight. And so then Laura said like, we had, we, had, we had carry-ons. And then Laura, we were already walking out, and Laura's like, oh, they're gonna transfer our carry-ons <laughs> to the next flight. And I was like, they are. <laughs> <laughs> No, so I was like, yeah, they are. Come on, follow me. We need to catch the next fight. And, and then I was running. And I was like, they do that? Like, <laughs> I was questioning myself. Anyways, we catch the next flight. We're about, to, we're already like flying out. I was like, no, they're not. Those doggies just don't have our information, you fucking idiot. I was so mad as I was thinking. I was like, why did I listen to you, bro? Like, and no, then and I was like, oh my God, they don't. Huh? I was like, they never do Wait, that. how'd you get your stuff? I, I've, I've okay, been... so then we got to the airport to like, our destination and then i was like hi so i left my luggage in the carry <laughs> and they were like oh okay I was like, yeah she told me they would transfer it she's still over there throwing me dirt and i'm trying to get her luggage back oh, i was oh. so mad i was like, it was my luggage dude my only like crap i had my three ropitas <laughs> <laughs> so so, so then, luckily they had they were like okay there's another flight coming to Oregon so we can just put your luggages in that flight I'm like Ooh. <laughs> they're like can you just describe the luggage so we know it's your luggage I was like yes two red luggage two cheap little red luggage <laughs> 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 Walmart ahí ahí dice ahí dice que la no no tiene llanta con el tiene la llanta ponchada the handle's a little broken pero agarra la de aquí pero la sirve pero ya les de sus manos with the sharpie Laura. Yes. So, would you say confidently and honestly that like, you guys are best friends? Yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah. I think so. I think so. I think so. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> no. Yeah. Dude, that's it. That's a wrap. Hey, watch. Don't throw blows. <laughs> Don't pull the ponytail. I will get their their shit in there. Hey, not the roadcaster. No. Get the tequila bottle better. <laughs> So are you or not? Because I think I think so. No. Is like a, mm, maybe. No, we are besties. We are. Yeah, we know all of each other's dirty shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's switch up the. the no, okay. One more question for you. Yeah. It was, comes. It goes to both of you guys. It's gonna be Ante, both I, anyway. I, I, well, <laughs> it's not just one. <laughs> Anthony novio, and he confuses one of you guys. No, no. we haven't had a boyfriend. Okay, so high school, like our parents were really strict. Then we moved to Oregon, and um, in in college, we weren't really interested. No, 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 no. no dude, we uh, we were. I was focused. No, nah, I wasn't focused too much. On <laughs> study. I don't know what the fuck I was so focused. On. You were blacked out half the time. <laughs> I was just trying to party out there. <laughs> so, yeah, we didn't have a boyfriend in um, in college. And then afterwards, when, like, like when we were working, because we were working, like, random jobs, like, uh-huh. in different states, like, moving from state to state. I was like, well, it's pointless. Like, we're never, like, in one spot. Yeah. So, we haven't had a boyfriend, like, to confuse <laughs> us. So, <laughs> yeah. She's like, I'm tired of him. You, Your turn. <laughs> I don't want to see him today. You see him? <laughs> you see him. Este güey ya me enfadó, va. 
<laughs> take one for the team, bro. Take one for the team. Llamando una hora, hablan mucho. There's a lot of stories you guys live through. Yeah. Right? Like, it, I feel like your life is just a movie. And, 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 and right like you how you said you look at every positivity throughout the negativity of whatever situation it is yeah. but for a lot of people that's fucking hard like we look at one negative thing and we're just like man and it's downhill from there it's downhill <laughs> f this f yeah. that like it's because of this and that but it's never like you know fuck it, it's out of my hands it is what it is now right so well, for me we find it pointless to like get mad or like sad over something that you can't situation. control you know Yeah. So that's why I'm like, might as well laugh at it. <laughs> With laughter, you forget about everything. Yeah. So did you guys ever imagine you guys being in the position you guys are now with your content? Like being invited to like premieres, events, meeting the people you guys have met. Like how is that type of feeling for you guys? Um, well, when we started, like it was a like we were just doing it to kill time. So um, that's how it started. And then when we started slowly growing and like seeing like people are like, companies reaching out for like this and this we're like oh shit like oh like this is kind of cool um and then from there we're like oh like these are actually like really cool opportunities that we're getting like the our one of our like favorite like ad that we worked on it was jack in the box and for that one they invited us to their um house in malibu they like rented this house and that was so fucking cool i mean we um, were so nervous yeah like, we were so nervous and like i don't know if you guys are familiar with king batch and like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oscar Miranda, yeah, um, Nina Marie, they were all there, like I'm part sorry. of that ad. And then when I saw them, I was like, "Hi!" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I couldn't say anything yeah. else. <laughs> yeah, because we've been looking up to them because we see their videos and yeah. like, um, so we like we see their videos and that's our inspiration. They're pretty like, much OGs. They're, they're yeah, OGs. Yeah, they're yeah, they're OGs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So when we saw them, we're like, we just said hi and like. They were so funny in person. Um, and, like, after that opportunity, we're like, oh, shit, like, let's keep grinding to see if, like, we can get more opportunities like this. And then from there, we just, like, kind of, like, been grinding and, like, not stopping. Yeah. yeah. But we didn't know that this was going to be, like, yeah. our life. Because, like, before the pandemic, well, first of all, we didn't even know that pandemic was going to happen. So for us, we were low-key grateful that that happened because that gave us time to, like, work on something that we've actually been wanting to do for years now. So, like... Um, but yeah, like we didn't like actually think that we would actually grow any of our platforms. You think it forced you guys to like get out of the comfort zone? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Cause our first videos, like you could tell we were shy. I mean, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we've come a long way on doing videos too. So yeah. what it, what is that feeling like for like, I would say you guys are living a dream, right? That everybody that's watching us and, and hearing you guys talk and how you guys and seeing you guys, they're like, damn, they're. They're in a movie. They're in a dream. What is that? If you could put it into words, what is what does that feeling look like? What is? Um, yeah, I'll let Lauren take question. this one. <laughs> <laughs> I finally did it. There you go. Um, what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> That's how good the question was. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Someone decide this guy. That's why, bro. She was probably zoned out when you asked her. You take this one, bro. You take it. Do you guys? Are <laughs> I know where I was zoning out. <laughs> put, put the replay. Put the put it on the TV. The replay. I zoned, I zoned out like five, five seconds ago. So, no, like you're in a you're in a movie. You're living a dream, and everybody. I mean, social media is growing so fast. Everybody wants to be a TikTok star, IG, YouTube sensation. Some people got it, some people don't, unfortunately. But you guys are in this. So if being where you guys are at right now, like if you could put that success into words, that feeling into words, the emotions, like what would, how would that be like? Mm. Did you hear that well, one? Yeah. You got that one? Did, All right, you good? All right, right cool. I just, well, it feels, it feels really good that we actually accomplished, like, because we've been wanting to be content creators, so now it feels good that we actually accomplished it because this was one of our, like, goals. Um, and we always put it aside. We're like, nah, it's okay. Like, we'll work on it later. And we, that later never came until the pandemic. That kind of just forced us to, like, really, like, mm -hmm. okay, no more excuses. We either, like, waste our time during this pandemic, don't do shit, or we actually, like, do yep. something with our lives. Yeah. And I'm so thankful that we actually did something. And now it feels like kind of – I'm really thankful that we started when we started because, like, now it is harder to grow on social media. And it's not as easy as, like, growing as it was during the pandemic because everybody was, like – 
not uh, not working. They were in their phones they or whatever. Phones, yeah. yeah. So I'm like really thankful that we like started when we started because like I mean we're still like yeah we still like have our ups and downs with like social media because like you're not not always gonna like grow or like have a viral video. So you're always like thinking like of of or like of trends like how to put like our niche into different trends and stuff. Um, but <clears throat> but yeah we're grateful. Because we also wanted to start when, remember when Vine was a thing? Yeah. Oh, we <laughs> I love Vine. <laughs> we did a one video for Vine, and then, like, it got, like, six revines, and I was so excited. And then afterwards, the app, that's when the app, like, completely uh, yeah. vanished. I was like, what happened? <laughs> yeah. I was just getting started with my Vine career. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, she took it personal. She's like, what? <laughs> yeah, She's like, I'm going to send an email right now. <laughs> I'm going to write a letter now. <laughs> Kidding. But, um, yeah, so then after that, like, I didn't, I was like, well, I don't know what other platforms are, like, Vine. Yeah. And, because I didn't know TikTok was a thing, like, back in the day, like, until 2020. That's yeah. when I, like, because when we were in Mexico, our, you know, little cousins, I was like, can I borrow your phone? Can I borrow your phone? And then I'd be like, no. And then Laura was nice enough. You know, she let our little cousin borrow it. She's like, can I get TikTok? And then I was like, what the fuck is TikTok, dude? Yeah. And then we started just scrolling there for, and then I was like, what she is that? She was entertained for like two hours just watching TikTok videos. So then after that, we're like, oh, this is like Vine, dude. That's that's when we started doing like TikTok. Yeah. He, he would always tell me, download, Vi uh, download Vine, download TikTok. My sister would tell me. I'd be like, I'm never downloading that. Yeah. Thing. I think yeah. I have, I've had like TikTok for like a year, I think. Yeah, I think the first year of podcasting, I mean, it, it just stuck to like YouTube and it stuck to like just really just cutting out whatever was on YouTube and putting it on IG. So there was no like intention behind it besides yeah. let me put my content out. So that's like some people don't understand is that there's a lot more that goes into it than just putting a camera and yeah. putting it out there. You said it earlier, you took like four or five hours. To do one campaign. Yeah. And you guys post pretty much almost daily, right? Yeah, like, on TikTok. Yeah, yes. like you guys have constant content. Yeah. Like it, it's never ending. But you said it just right now. Like there's moments where you have highs and then what, and you have lows. Yeah. So how the hell do you get through the lows when you're a content creator? Um, like where you're not getting that vision yeah. or like that love back or even the money. Like you're not getting anything back. Like you're basically doing it for free. Yeah. So how do you get through those low moments that like, you know? We literally just keep going. Like, well, like there's days where like we just take the day off and like we just watch movies and that really helps us like just keep the mind distracted. And then the next day, like once we feel like going back into it, like we like keep going. Like what do you tell yourself? What's that conversation? We just tell each other. Well, we tell each other we already made it this far. So why stop now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you guys are motivational. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I think that's just, I think that's what makes us, right? That's what makes you guys that dynamic duo and that, like, really successful duo. That As much as introverted as you guys really are, the extrovert part of you guys and the motivational part of you guys and termination is why you guys are here. Because when the six videos didn't pop off, yeah. the 30 views followers were just there. There's a decision. Am I going to do it for fun or am I going to really make a business out of it? So now it's that talk. Like, whatever other people do for free, we do it for our career. As Hispanic parents, they don't see this as a no. career. Yeah. Yeah, our mom was our biggest hater, like, when we first started. <laughs> I, my, my parents, I think, I don't know about your parents, but my parents were. Oh, um, they, they like, they, some of, they kind of make fun of it, but at the same time, they're just like, <laughs> yeah. Like, what is that? Like, like, yeah. Be serious yeah. about this. Yeah. And until it's like, nah, bro, like, you got to see where we're at right yeah. now. Yeah. You got to see who we sit with. You got to see what's happening. And Okay, I see it. So, like, I feel like you guys have, as cliche as it sounds, don't, don't <laughs> like, knock me in the comments, but as girls in a Hispanic household doing content, how does that work? That you guys made this your career and you have to, Basically, kind of put your mom and dad like under make them understand, like, hey, this is what we're doing now. How does that work? How does that happen? Well, at first, our mom was like, I know, yo no gastaría mi tiempo haciendo videos nomás 
I don't know, like, like for free. For free, yeah, pretty much. And then, and then I was then all like, well, you don't know where this could lead, like, honestly. And then we got our first campaign, and then she's like, ¿A poco de veras se quieren pagar para que promociones pollo loco? I was like, yeah. Um, and then after that, like, we started getting more campaigns, like, little by little. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, my mom's all like, what? So now they're, like, so supportive. Our parents are like, ¿Necesitas algo, mija? ¿Necesitas que te traiga algo? ¿Te la sala o algo? I was like, <laughs> oh, then you know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was that moment for your parents then? Um, What's that conversation look like um, when your parents finally realize, like, oh, shit, my daughters are good at this? Um, it was, like, when we started making more money. Mm. And, like, now we help out our parents more, like, with the rent, with, like, we even finished paying my dad's truck. Well, yeah, we finished paying my dad's truck because he got a new truck. And then he was, like, pues, déme más dinero para la mamalona. Wait, let's not, let's not let that fly by. What? <laughs> you guys... Help pay your dad's truck off. Yeah. What year is it, if you don't want me to ask? Oh, it was last year's. Last oh, year's. 2022? Yeah. But oh, he got you a, guys get the bag. But he got a really but, good deal on it. He like, also got a good deal on it. Yeah. Okay, but let's not knock you guys. <laughs> let's not knock you guys. You guys <laughs> don't work. give you guys the fire. Yeah, you guys, you guys don't work with small-time people. Like, you guys are really funny, and big brands see that potential in you guys. Mm -hmm. That, like, there has to be a feeling when you see the first, like, when you get the campaign and then you see the amount, what's what's that train of thought? Like, what happens? Well, I, like, at first, we couldn't believe it. Like, once we started making, like, more money, I was like, oh, damn. Like, I can't believe this is, like, actually happening. I mean, so were our parents. Like, they couldn't believe it either. Yeah. Um, Over five figures? Yeah. Like, last year, yeah. Almost six? I don't, almost, not yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next year we'll get there. She's yeah, I was like, 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 that's the goal for next year <laughs> or this year. <laughs> so what's the, what's what was the feeling for your dad and yourself paying off his truck? Um, it was it was it was really nice to get back to our parents. Yeah, because like you know they've always like supported us, so like it feels nice to get back to them. And it's actually always been like one of my goals to like help out. Like my goal is to retire my dad. Like I don't want him working anymore. Obviously, I'm not there yet, but that's my goal. Cause like. This company fucking sucks, like, the way they treat him. Yeah. So, yeah, like, I just, I don't want him working there. Damn, that's, that's, that's beautiful, though, because that, that's the goal. So, I mean, we've done this before, honestly, and it, it was pretty good. Like, if there's something, like, you would tell your parents that they don't know, like, how you feel, if there's something you would tell them, and I'm sure they'll watch it, whether you guys repost it or not, it'll end up on the For You page. <laughs> it's going to. <laughs> Yeah. We almost had her crying, bro, so we got to really ask this. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you tell your parents if they're watching you now? Like, after going through high school, being on your own in college, studying abroad, and now doing content, like, what would you tell your parents when now? Um, well, for starters, I would thank them because they actually did a good job raising us. I mean, like, yeah, they were strict. They, they were could strict. Have been a little more easier on that shit. Yeah. <laughs> But um, <laughs> I mean that that if I've had my parents weren't that strict. They were pretty strict, but they're not that strict. That builds character. That makes you and like who you are. Basically, obviously, it shows you morals. It shows you what's right, what's wrong. And at the end of the day, even though you choose what you want to do and you have your own options, you always choose the right way to go because your parents taught you that way. Yeah. You know? Well, you never learned. <laughs> Callate, <wey. Callate. laughs> I'm like, I'm looking at him like, this is what really say this right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you would thank your parents? Yes. Um, yes, I would thank them because like they they did a good job raising us and um uh what else? Um, <laughs> um <laughs> oh, bro, bro, bro. <laughs> This is the first time she didn't cut you off. Wow. I, know, I was surprised, I was waiting for her to cut me off. No, yeah, I would just thank my parents because uh, we didn't turn out that bad, you know? <laughs> you think? <laughs> I mean, I, uh, crazy. You, you don't want to say that crazy. one more time. A little crazy. A little crazy. <laughs> what, what is the end goal to this? What's, um, what's, like, with all your content, all these oh, two years putting in, like, what's... Our end goal is to have our own animated sitcom, like, that depicts Mexican culture, like, The Simpsons Family Guy. There's not a show, like, on Mexican culture yet. That's literally our goal. Mm -hmm. Like, before we started doing content, we... We were applying to different, like, writer shows because that's been our, like, a dream of ours, like, for a really long time. Um, but we don't know how to go about it. So 
I know. But now with our skits, it's kind of helping us go that direction because we write, like, before we do our skits, we always write down all of our lines. And um, so that's already, in a way, helping us, like, once we already have our animated sitcom, because for the whole animated sitcom, you have to, like, write down your script. And that's, like, we're kind of already doing it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like, our lifelong goal is to do the animated sitcom. And, like, we're the agency that we're currently with, we told them, and they're going to, like, try and help us, like, figure yeah, that out. Yeah. Um, because they asked us, they're like, what is your lifelong goal? And we're like, we want to have our own animated sitcom. Like, we don't want to just stop at TikTok. We want to, like, either have a, a partnership with Netflix or, like, Warner Bros. Um, so yeah. that's, like, our goal right now. Okay. Oh, dreaming yeah. big. I love that. <laughs> as, as, why is that, though? Why the sitcom? Why Hispanic sitcom like that? I think because, well, first of all, there's no, uh, like, uh, animated sitcom, like, on Hispanics. Yeah. Well, there is. There was one that got canceled like years ago, Borderland or what yeah, was it Borderland. called? Yeah, Borderland. No me acuerdo. Um, but yeah, that one got canceled, and so I want to like be like one of the first ones. And then like we love comedy, like we love watching. Well, we used to watch Family Guy, Family Guy, like back in the day, like a I lot. Love family Guy. Yeah. yeah. Um, and The Simpsons. Now we don't really watch as much TV because we're like focused on our like content. Okay. Um, but yeah, like uh. What was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's me. <laughs> bro, I started a se- I start a sentence and a I have sentence? no idea. What the fuck is a sentence? I started a sentence. What? I started a sentence. You said a sentence. I, I started a sentence. <laughs> and I have no idea where the fuck it's gonna end. I just start that shit and I just continue with it she as it goes. She was so motivated with her phrase, she forgot what she was answering. I know she was like I got a dream and it's like, what was I saying? Um yeah, about that. <laughs> so here at this podcast, we always, always love to leave our audience with with quotes. It could be a motivational one. It could be a life one. It could be one that you, you tell yourself when you look in the mirror like, you're a bad bitch. <laughs> you're a bad bitch. <laughs> he said you're a bad she bitch. She says that. I know she listens to me like. Our Angela <laughs> always says that shit. That's Angela's quote right there. It is. <laughs> look at her, look at her, look at her. Yeah, after the... After, after the violin yesterday with her vote, yeah. that's what you got here late too. <laughs> but that's what, that's what this podcast always grew upon because there's always people just looking for answers, right? Like you said, you, you guys looked up to certain people, certain shows, and that's what you base it off of. We've done the same, and we've learned a lot. But when we have those tough days where we don't want to get content or where we're fighting, we're always fighting, you guys are. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like, all right, what what's that one thing you you got to remind yourself? Um. Well, like a motivational quote for me is like, it's never too old or too late to start anything you want in life, because like, uh, like you know how most like influencers are like kind of young, like in their twenties. Yeah. We're like twenty eight, so like it's never like too old or too late, like to literally start. Like you just have to start somewhere and like mm-hmm. just go for it. Like don't even think about it. I like that. I, like that. I, like that. I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> no, you. No, 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 no. She's like me too. Me jame los robaste. Me robó mi idea. I was gonna call it that because it arranca. She'll mop the floors at you. Alright, you gotta give us one. You gotta give us one. Top um, that. Damn, top that. <laughs> Here, let me transfer you some ideas. <laughs> I, I, does it actually work? I don't know. No. I don't know. Oh, you don't have a thing. You don't know how that works. <laughs> That's what I'm asking you. Does it actually work? No, it doesn't. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, oh, I mean, as you can see, it doesn't. Um, I would say if you fail, just keep going. Like, because we failed, like. When we started off, we failed. Like, we were flopping so much, but that didn't stop us. We continued. So, like, even if you're flopping in life, it doesn't matter. Just keep going. Okay. As long as you don't give up on yourself. I love that. As long as you don't give up on yourself. There you go. (laughs) She was ready. (laughs) She was ready. She's like, I'm ready on that motivational stuff now. Dylan, do you got one for us? I got more motivation, fool. <laughs> Get at me. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. You guys, someone, have you guys seen that TikTok? Someone take away the hot Cheetos. The hot Cheetos. <laughs> I'm not talking about your sentimentals. Uh, Get at yeah. me, fool. I heard this. I think we were listening to a podcast. Mm. We usually listen to podcasts where we're on the way over here or in the truck. I'm not sure if this is a quote or you take it as you want to take it. But it says, fuck, what, what did it say? <laughs> But Hold on. Yeah, where are we going? <laughs> now I'm playing. Oh, it's it's um. I just I just remember. Just because you can lift the weights doesn't mean it's it's not heavy. Oh, you know? oh shit! 
<laughs> yes. Wow, Dylan. There we go. Yeah. I'll, I'll say go. that again for, that for the people that didn't. I know. I'm actually going to look at the camera this time. <laughs> nah, I'm just fine. Nah, because it, it's... As, as easy as people think this is, right? Like, they see the views, they see the success, they see the places you guys obtain, and, and us too. Like, people think this was easy. Yeah. People think this was an overnight success. Like, one video popped off, and the next day you're at yeah. fucking events, movies, whatever it was. It hasn't been that. It hasn't, no, nowhere near that. And I feel what, uh, what a lot of people need to understand is, how you said, it's, you're never too late, but you never know how far you'll go until you actually give it a try. And even when you get that, that turbulence, that un, uncertainty of what's really happening, like, if you give up, then how do you know if it was going to work or not, right? So, you guys are just a powerhouse. Like, you can't, you can't make this shit up. Like, everybody watching and listening now and wherever you guys are watching and listening, like, you can't make this type of duel up. Like, you guys didn't come in. We didn't go over a script or anything. Like, you guys are literally finishing each other's sentences sometimes. You guys kind of, yeah. like, messed up a little bit. But <laughs> we're not going to say that. But you guys are finishing each other's sentences. You guys are literally, like... Each other's, like, it sounds cliche, these are twins, but you guys are, like, a reflection of each other. Like, you know what, like, it's crazy yeah, to just yeah. be around here. So, I do want to appreciate you guys for coming out on a, and what was this, like, a week ago that we just set this up? Yeah, yeah, it was a week ago, yeah. It was crazy. I was like, they know me. They know us. <laughs> they know me. It's like, yeah, we've been around the same area and we never talked. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of fucked up. I think the, the last time I talked to him, I offered them tortillas. The tortillas, yes. Really? I was yeah. making tortillas oh. at the rancho. <laughs> I was making tortillas at the rancho. I'm like, muchachas, ¿quién tortillas? And they're like, this motherfucker, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> they did that awkward laugh too, like, ha, ha, yeah. Ahorita agarramos, no te preocupes. A rancho cochinero. We know that. Yeah. I love that rancho. That's rancho. crazy. But, I mean, the last thing, our... Are you, do you guys need anybody else besides yourself going in this position you guys are going? So we what? Do you guys need anybody else, like a support group, friend group? And, like, what's that look like? So the people that don't know. Um, for right now, um, our agency has been a lot of, like, a lot of help just because we were with a different agency back last year. But mm -hmm. shit went down, so then we got a new agency, and they've been, they've been help, so helpful. Like, we've been, right now, they're, like, our big support group right now. Yeah. Out, outside of the agency. Out, oh, outside of the agency? Yeah, yeah. outside, oh, of, outside of the agency. Other creators are, also, yeah. like, they support you, too. Mm -hmm. Well, for the most part, because when we and Laura started, like, we didn't start making, like, other friends, like, that are also, like, influencers, like, literally, barely last year, but, last like, year, last like, year, like, late, like, yeah, I don't know, April. But, yeah, like, we also, like, asked them, like, for help, like, um, whenever we need, I don't, I don't whenever know. like we ask because we always go to each other first. Yeah. But whenever like we don't have the answer, then, then we'll hit them up like, hey, like we got this, this, like can you yeah. help us with this, this? They'll be like, oh yeah, I'm going through the same shit, like. Yeah. But then we like <laughs> tell each other like, no, it's all gonna be good, like because we, because it's good like having other creator friends because they also flop like you, like us. So then when we're flopping, they're like, no, it's also me. I'm also getting like shitty views right now, so don't worry. Like I think it's just the algorithm of TikTok, and we always blame it on TikTok. <laughs> um, and it helps like blaming it on someone, you know? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, you saw his face. Wow. Yeah, you yeah, saw you saw that? his face. You saw it that? switched up real fast. Tell me how you really feel right now, fool. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh, that's fake love right there. You don't want that. No, but um, shit, I think we kind of hit everything today. The beginning, the, the middle, the abroad, the platforms. It's undeniable what you guys have. It's, it really is. Like, this was, this has been an amazing experience in podcasts because. It wasn't even a motivational one, I, I would say. Like, we, we tried it. It didn't work <laughs> out. We rolled with the punches. But it's because it's not that you guys never struggled. Yeah. It's just you guys had a different outlook of it. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys had struggles. Yeah. You guys yeah. had tough-ass yeah. moments. Yeah. But the way you speak about them isn't like, I don't feel bad about it because you're talking about it like, what do you want me to do about it? <laughs> it's an experience. Yeah. Like, your parents being tough on you guys, studying abroad, being broke, like, start doing this, I, there's no bad way you talked about your situation or your journey because 
the way your vision is and what you guys are looking forward to. So, I mean, with that is just, if you don't have that positive mindset and outlook, like, it's going to be a tough-ass fucking life. True. Yeah. Right? So, I want to end on the last question. Like, what is happiness? What is happiness? Well, for us, traveling. <laughs> no, not for us, for you. Oh, yeah, for us. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> She's like, she don't, she, you don't have to say anything. I got you. Oh, for me. <laughs> <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> She's like, shut up. She's don't so say a word. She's so used to saying us. I'm so used to answering for both of us. <laughs> she, she gave that look. She's like, us. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, it's traveling. Mm. Like, because um, we love to travel. Um, we like love to experience different cultures um, and just like, like like try different foods, like different countries. See like what it's like because we also lived in Australia. Like, five Damn, les gusta ponerse pedas en diferentes <laughs> países. Okay, yeah. we like to see how other people get lit. No. <laughs> 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 no, in Australia they actually drink from a shoe. They like they'll put the whole shot. The shoey, yeah, the yeah, shoey. They'll, they'll, yeah. they'll get it and it's they'll pour it in there and they'll do it. They actually do it. Do it. Yeah. Do it. I would do that, but I kind of want my shoe today. <laughs> she, imagine you have ongos in that bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's why the, one of the USC fighters, he's sponsored he by Happy Dad. He does, every time he wins, he does a shoey. And no one, no one no. gets it. I never got I thought he was like, damn, he's fucking down for his shit. <laughs> yeah. Now I know why. Australians, I don't know. They just yeah. love to they drink. They have a song to it. Yeah, they have a song. You have to finish the drinking your drink by the time by the you're, time you're the done. people that are like singing the song by the time they're done singing the song yeah but you have to fill the shoes how is the song dude I don't know the song <laughs> they were like no. <laughs> I, have, I have I don't remember dude <laughs> oh shit so it's just it's traveling. Yeah, traveling. traveling is our happiness. Well, my happiness as yeah, well. Yeah, no, mine too. She said <laughs> it too. Well, she said it first, yeah. but it's, uh, yeah, we are really our twin. <laughs> I don't think we can get anything more out of these girls because it's just too positive and happy. If you're listening to this, watching, make sure you like, share, subscribe, tune in. And thank you guys for coming no, out. thank you for having us. <laughs> that shit was fun. It was a live podcast. It's host. Let's go. Cheers, guys. Cheers with my water. <laughs>